It seems there's no relief in sight for high gas prices. The average price of a regular unleaded gasoline gallon was 347 in Knoxville today. That's according to AAA. The lowest price seen was $3.42. And believe it or not, AAA prices are actually down an average of nine-tenths of a cent from last week. Sky-high gas prices are keeping a Knoxville man's transportation business from taking off. In tonight's 10 News Extra, we show you how he's fueling his business and making a difference. Chris King's business has him on the move. He has a fleet of offices on four wheels. Green Car is his environmentally friendly taxi and courier service. One thing that always stuck out here to me was the fact that this town was underserviced uh, as far as taxis, couriers, and just general, the general transportation industry. The other driving force for King, Knoxville's less than desirable air quality caused in part by car emissions. Chris's van is a 2000 Chevy Venture. Before he converted it to cleaner burning 385 ethanol, the Venture put out 11,738 pounds of carbon dioxide a year. Now, you're looking at about 70% less carbon monoxide, about 55% less carbon dioxide, and somewhere in the 30% less uh, nitri nitrogen oxide coming out of the tailpipe. Chris is burning a trail for regular clients like magpies. The cake creations at this old city shop are anything but ordinary. It's not like you can stick your, your cake in a taxi cab. I mean, this is pretty, pretty precious cargo. You know where it's going. I got it. <laughs> Thanks. Uh-huh. See you tomorrow. Magpie's owner says Green Car is a great way to get her cakes to customers in West Knox County while saving money. It's a way for us to expand our business out there without having to actually move there ourselves. <laughs> this is it. This is the green machine. And with gas prices skyrocketing, King is saving cash as well. It's costing me about $2 a gallon in the end. This shuttle runs on used fryer grease that comes from restaurants. He buys it in 55-gallon drums. Uh, they take the fryer grease and they filter it down. The con only conversion of this thing is basically a heater. It heats that grease up, makes it real thin, and just burns it just like that. Burns great. Runs just like a regular, regular diesel loader. Saving money and the environment one car at a time. You heard Chris say it. $2 a gallon as compared to $3.47. If you would like to learn more about eco-friendly lifestyles, go to our website at WBIR.com. Go to that Go Green section. Click there. Great information.